top 10 places to eat in Los Angeles. Only a few other cities in the world can boast of the rich, genre-defined concepts and distinct cuisines that make Los Angeles the culinary hotspot it is. The battle to be the finest here is tough, and restaurants come and go like the tide. So rising to the very top requires a winning combination of exceptional food, cool design, sizzling buzz, and consistency in all aspects of service and fare. The gastronomic options are unlimited and span the entire city, from the beach to downtown and everywhere in between. So if a restaurant made our list of the top 10 places to eat in LA, you can be sure it's fantastic, worth the wait, the money, and the hype. But first, welcome to Traveler's Nirvana, your official search engine for everything travel related. Now, let's dig in. Number 10, Squirrel. Originally an artisanal toast and jam cafe, this restaurant has transformed into what may be the hippest brunch spot in the city. This isn't a place you visit just once to cross off your list. The menu is overrun with so many delectable options that will keep you coming back. Some of their consistently fantastic specials include the Sorel pesto rice with homemade sausage and lacto-fermented hot sauce, and the house-smoked whitefish served along with the lacto-fermented pickles, rug broad, and shoe greens. Don't miss the towering fluffy brioche toast covered in a fresh ricotta and ultra local seasonal squirrel jam. Because this is how the restaurant got in the spotlight in the first place. Be warned though, dining at this restaurant will make every other rice bowl you come across taste inferior. Yes, they are that good. Number 9. Leo's Taco Truck Here, there are no frills. There are only a few trucks stationed to take your order, skilled cooks cutting off chunks of succulent pork and pineapple to put over tortillas, and a salsa bar. And let us tell you, that's all you need. It's Taco Tuesday every day in Leo's truck, and their tacos are unquestionably some of the best in the city. Not only tacos, but they also serve burritos, melitos, huaraches, and other traditional Mexican street food dishes like the trompo, a rotating spit of tender and deliciously all pasta topped with shaved juicy pineapple chunk. You should definitely try their tripas, cabeza, or pork to add variety to your taco order. You may also want to order at least three tacos for filling since they are palm sized. What should you be drinking here? The Mexican Coke, period. Number eight, in Naka. This two Michelin star restaurant has continued to wow both critics and customers with its modern take on a long-standing multi-course Japanese tradition. Even though it opened over 10 years ago, it is still one of the most difficult reservations to get in all of Los Angeles. The easiest way to stay updated on announcements is to follow them on Instagram and keep a close eye on their talk website page. Their regular tasting meals include 13 courses, a vegetarian option, wine and sake, Japanese rice wine. A nightly tasting menu could start with a small glass of apple sake, then proceed to taking the scallop tartare with sambaizu gilet, a carrot puree, toasted sunflower seeds, and crispy carrot chips. From there, you can choose from meals like the grilled branzino with rich Santa Barbara sea urchin, shiitake mushrooms, and ponzu, or a lobster dumpling with king crab bobbing in dashi, emerge. The wine pairings are just as thoughtful and elegant as the dinner itself, and although the restaurant is definitely on the high side, once you taste the great meal offerings, you'll forget all about the lightness of your wallet. Number 7. Spago The restaurant, which is now located in Beverly Hills, first opened its doors in West Hollywood in 1982 and has been serving up consistently superb, cutting-edge cuisine for more than 30 years. The kitchen is refreshingly old school when it comes to presentation, but flourishes in its offerings. And that's what keeps this iconic restaurant feeling fresh. Some of the restaurant's signature dishes include the spicy tuna tartare, the pizza with homemade smoked salmon, the handmade agnolotti, and the enormous grilled veal chop. We advise all first timers to try the classics from their famous tasting menu. But if you've been here before, then you'll probably have more fun experimenting with the sporadic and hyper seasonal specials, particularly when it comes to dessert. Number six, here's looking at you. Even though almost every restaurant in LA would claim to be multicultural, here's looking at you takes food fusion to a whole new level. 
The cuisine of this well-liked K-Town eatery draws inspiration from the chef's Korean culinary heritage and fuses it with his experience in fine dining. The preparation of the food reflects the fun and jovial atmosphere of the restaurant. For example, beef tartare is combined with chilies, ramps, an egg yolk, turnips, cress, and thick-cut charred bread. The dynamic menu also includes savory dishes, like a uni panna cotta with salmon roe and dill over wild rice, a 36-ounce cowboy ribeye with fermented radish butter, and sarsa parillas. Don't forget out on some of their delicious pastry creations, like the frozen pear soda espuma or the roasted chestnut mochi. Lastly, their interestingly inventive cocktails are a must try. Number five, John and Vinny's. This little hole in the wall restaurant is usually always filled to the gills and has an urban cozy vibe. They serve up premium, high quality variations on traditional pizza, spaghetti, and Italian American sweets. Their pre 11.30 a.m. menu includes some of the best ricotta pancakes in the city that you will ever experience. And they also have breakfast pizza with fried eggs and Yukon gold potatoes. Although it's difficult to go wrong with anything on the menu, the pig meatballs, the ham and Yeezy pizza with smoked mozzarella and pickled Fresno chili, and their chef-driven interpretation of mozzarella sticks are among our all-time favorites. Even the pickiest pizza and pasta enthusiasts will enjoy a meal at John and Vinny's when paired with carefully chosen quirky wines from their wine boutique. Here's a quick insider's tip. If you're unsuccessful in getting a reservation for dinner, try dropping by the counter at their Fairfax location in the middle of the day. Number four, Providence. Opened over 10 years ago, this seafood restaurant is run by Michael Simarusti and is one of the best in the city. Located in Southern California, this is the place for you if you are looking for an amazing dining experience with a beautiful presentation in a cozy atmosphere. The eight course menu is focused on seafood with the catch as fresh as it gets. All the food is prepared in an artistic manner that proves that the restaurant deserves its two Michelin stars. The quaint restaurant offers superb seasonal meals like vermilion rockfish with coconut and jalapeno, but we advise you to start with the opulent appetizer of black truffles over risotto. If you're lucky, you may even be offered a drink from Chef Michael's personal whiskey collection to pair well with your meal. Number three, Bestia. In the center of the arts district, Bestia is known for its fresh, meat-centric, rustic Italian cuisine. The slick atmosphere is brought on by its industrial modern decor, and the restaurant is constantly packed with sophisticated and fashionable patrons. Why do we adore this restaurant? Because no matter how many times you order the menu highlights from chef and co-owner Ori Minashe, the food will never fail to wow you. For instance, the rusticella pasta, which consists of little pyramid of noodles topped with Dunganese crab, citrus, Calabrian pepper, Thai basil, and onion seed, is startlingly straightforward but shockingly delicious. The desserts are straightforward but prepared with a perfectionist attention to detail, thus making them memorable. Number two, Musso and Frank Grill. The next place on our list is the restaurant that is often referred to as the Genesis of Hollywood. Located on Hollywood Boulevard, this restaurant is quite famous and over a century old. In 2019, it became the first restaurant to be honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and has made several appearances in many movies, TV shows, books, and songs. So if you're a Hollywood buff trying to feel the history while you dine, this is for you. The quaint restaurant still serves many of the same foods it did when it first opened in 1919, and that's all part of its appeal. Their typical steakhouse menu includes delicacies like Welsh rarebit, ribeye, prime rib awa, lobster thermidor, and chicken pot pie. So pair your food with any bottle from the Muzo's sizable wine selection. So pair your food with any bottle from the Muzo's sizable wine selection. Number one, Republic. This all-day cafe and upmarket dinner venue is the epitome of cuisine fusion between the old and new in the LA dining scene. Housed in a 1920s era structure that used to be Charlie Chaplin's studio, the lofty, spacious dining area is open, extravagant, and inventive. The menu it might be difficult to highlight a particular dish to be had. You could go for the pork belly sausage breakfast sandwich or the fried chicken and waffles served with gravy and pickled Fresno chilies. 
But there's the delicious goat cheese topped chilaquiles, the fried rice with beef short ribs and kimchi, braised short ribs, truffle risotto, and the Thai lobster soup. Don't get us started on the croissants, baguettes, tarts, cakes, and cookies. Another pro tip, it's best to plan a quick hike or a snooze afterward because no one leaves here without feeling stuffed. Well, that's going to do it for us today. Please comment below and let us know if you've visited any of these restaurants or have any great suggestions you'd like to share. See you in the next video!